Let's focus on what's happening in Parliament today. Fireworks are expected over the Lakhimpur Kheri killings investigation. Congress MP Rahul Gandhi has moved an adjournment motion in the Lok Sabha demanding the sacking of MOS Om Ajay Mishra Taini, whose son is a key accused. The leader of Congress in the Lok Sabha, Adiranjan Chaudhary, said that the Congress will continue to demand the sacking of Ajay Mishra in both houses. Right now, you can see that there is a lot of sloganeering that's happening also in the House as we speak in the winter session, saying that Prime Minister Modi must oust the minister for a fair probe. That's the demand being put forth by the Congress. This comes after the special investigation team probing the Lakhimpur Kheri violence said that there was a planned conspiracy to murder the protesting farmers. Remember, four farmers were mowed down by an SUV in Lakhimpur Kheri when a group agitating against the centre's three farm laws was staging a demonstration. Uh, an angry mob had then lynched two BJP workers, their driver, a journalist was also killed. In line of this violence, the investigation revealed that uh, it was a planned conspiracy. That's why the opposition is upping the ante in both houses today. I would request the Honourable Minister if he can at least tell... So on your screens you can see also the sloganeering. You can hear the sloganeering happening in the Lok Sabha. Business being disrupted, attempts by the BJP to ensure that they continue with normal business in the house. But it is difficult considering all the sloganeering by the opposition. Many of them in the well of the house holding up placards. They are upping the ante over the issue of the Lakhimpur Kheri killings. Rahul Gandhi himself has moved an adjournment notice in the Lok Sabha, uh, seeking a discussion and seeking action, particularly by the government, against MOS home Ajay Mishra Taini. His son, remember, uh, is involved and accused in this particular case. Uh, there are protests that have been held for the last many days on this issue. So the focus and the trajectory within the winter session from the suspension of the opposition MPs has now shifted to the Lakhimpur case. Let's listen in to exactly what the Congress's strategy is going to be in the House in the coming hours as well. Adhiranjan Chaudhary speaking on the same. This government has been exhorting the people of our country that Morality should be given the first priority. So if anything is left, insofar as morality is concerned, the Prime Minister of our country should direct the Minister for resignation. Certainly, our demand will be sacking the concerned Minister, the alleged Minister, in addition to other issues also. So that was Adhiranjan Chaudhary uh, also saying that they will demand answers from the government on the Lakhimpur case. Remember that the Congress and other opposition leaders have been demanding uh, the resignation of MOS home Ajay Mishra Taini or the involvement of his son in the violence that broke out in Lakhimpur in which four farmers died. Now considering the latest update that's come in on the investigation with the special investigation team confirming that this was a planned conspiracy, that's why the opposition is again upping the ante over this issue in the winter session. Rahul Gandhi has moved an adjournment motion. We'll have to see whether there is a detailed debate in the House or on this matter, whether the government is willing to give answers to demands particularly of the MOS Homes uh, resignation or his ouster for that matter from the government over his son's involvement. So far the government has chosen to back Minister uh, Taney and they made it very clear that there will be no action against him. But this has become the focus point now in the winter session of Parliament as all the opposition parties have come together to pile pressure. Remember just yesterday there was a meeting that Sonia Gandhi called of all opposition leaders. Today as well Congress MPs held a meeting just before the winter session resumed to discuss exactly what their strategy will be and there too it was reiterated that their focus is going to directly be on the Lakhimpur case, the fallout of the investigation and the confirmation that this was a planned conspiracy. So let's get your details of exactly where the investigation is headed in this case. The special investigative team that's probing the Lakhimpur case called the violence pre-planned. The team has also sought uh, an attempt to murder charge against all of the accused. And this revelation is exactly what's led to a full-blown political war as the opposition has now upped the ante, demanding the resignation of MOS home Ajay Mishra. <laughs> Seventy-three days after violence broke out in Lakhimpur Kheri, 
there's a new twist in the investigation. The SIT probing the violence in which Union Minister Ajay Mishratini's son is an accused has revealed its new findings. The probe team says there was a planned conspiracy to murder protesting farmers with weapons on 3rd of October. Investigators have applied to remove the charges of culpable homicide, negligent driving and grievous hurt against all accused. The minister's son, Ashish Mishratini, and others will be booked under new sections of the IPC. The four new charges are attempt to murder, causing hurt with dangerous weapon, acts done in furtherance of common intention and sections of the Arms Act. The revelation has given the opposition new ammunition to gun for the BJP and the Congress is firing shots right at the top. Opposition chorus to sack MOS home, Ajay Mishratini, is growing louder. अब जबकि मालूम हो चुका है कि प्रीमेडिटेटेड पूरा प्लानिंग से उन पांच लोगों की हत्या की गई, तो हम इस बात का डिमांड करते हैं कि प्रधानमंत्री फौरन उस मिनिस्टर को अपने कैबिनेट से खारिज करें और इनके खिलाफ भी एक्शन लिया जाए। There can't be anything more shameful than this, anything more condemnable than this, but this government is completely in your to criticism. Pressure continues to mount on the Modi government to take action against their minister. With Santosh Sharma, Bureau Report, India Today. Supriya Bharatwaj is joining us live with the latest updates on what's really playing out in Parliament. Supriya, both houses at this point, the Congress and all opposition parties are upping the ante over the Lakhimpur case. The focus seems to have shifted for the opposition. They have a clear-cut strategy now to demand answers from the government on exactly why MOS home Ajay Mishratheni is still in the office. Well, absolutely, yes, Akshita. As far as the opposition is concerned, in Lok Sabha, it is none other than Rahul Gandhi who has moved an adjournment motion saying that uh, a discussion should take place on the Lakhimpur Kiri case. And at the same time, also, uh, he is demanding that uh, MOS home, uh, Ajay Mishra, should be uh, sacked or should be removed from the current post that he is holding. Uh, other opposition party leaders have also uh, been demanding uh, the similar thing. They are saying that uh, how can MOS home, who is now after the SIT report, continue in his office? Uh, we are also seeing some stormy scenes in the Rajya Sabha. Rajya Sabha has been adjourned till 12 noon. As far as the Lok Sabha is concerned, the uh, question hour is going on. However, the opposition MPs are protesting inside the House and saying that first and foremost, a discussion on Lakhimpur Kiri should take place. Around 14 uh, opposition parties have come together. There was a crucial meeting that took place last evening at 10 Janpat, which was headed by Sonia Gandhi, where who's who from the opposition were present, minus uh, TMC. And today also in the morning, we have seen and uh, both for both the houses, there was a separate uh, strategy which was was formulated by the opposition and uh, now in later in the day we are expecting that uh, e there will be either a debate on this entire issue uh, or uh, the opposition will uh, be coming out and speaking to the media as far as the Lakhimpur Khiri case is concerned. Okay, so the opposition making it very clear that they want a detailed discussion in Parliament on this. Uh, at this point so far, we don't know what the government strategy is, whether they're open to a discussion on this matter or no. What we can tell you also is that the Rajya Sabha has been adjourned till 12 p.m. because of the ruckus and the protests in the House. So again today, no business really that's happening because of the fact that the opposition is making it very clear that they want a debate on the Lakhimpur Kheri violence case. Any update really, Supriya, uh, from the government on whether they're open to a discussion on this matter? 
Well, this we have to see because the Lok Sabha uh, at the moment is uh, going, uh, we are seeing the question hour is going on in Lok Sabha. Uh, we have to see what happens at 12 noon or when uh, the important matters are raised in the lower house of the parliament. As far as the upper house, the Rajya Sabha is concerned, there are notices being given, but we have seen as to how the ruckus has just taken place. Uh, Lakimpur Khiri uh, case, which is concerned yesterday only, the minute the SIT report got out, uh, there, there was a, a sharp attack from the Congress's display place where we are standing, Akshita from here only, Rahul Gandhi had addressed along with the other opposition uh, leaders as to what the government is doing as far as the Kimpur Khiri case and MOS home, Ajay Mishra is concerned. Uh, today also we are seeing that leaders after leaders are coming out and saying that government has to take uh, action on Ajay Mishra uh, in particularly uh, because uh, now the SIT report is out and uh, certainly the pressure is on the government as far as this entire issue is concerned. That's right. Uh, so you've got a united opposition coming together on this issue. Supriya, all parties seem to be coming together with the Congress in pushing for this particular case to push for a discussion on Lakhimpur. But interestingly, what we've been seeing is also a divide in the opposition. The fact that the TMC is not really joining hands with the Congress and the rest of the opposition. Is that seen in the Parliament also? Is the Trinamool Congress also upping the ante over this issue? Well, as far as Trinamool Congress is concerned, yesterday only when we were speaking to Dola Sen of the TMC, the MP who has been suspended from Rajya Sabha, she as well as other leaders of TMC have said that they are also demanding uh, the resignation or the sacking of uh, Ajay Mishra, the MOS of uh, MOS home. They said that as to how the TMC delegation had gone to Lakhimpur Khiri and had met uh, the victims' uh, families and at the same time they are raising this demand in the house also. As far as the opposition unity is concerned, uh, Akshita, we spoke to a lot of leaders from uh, opposition rank and file and they said that as far as the opposition is concerned under Congress, 14 opposition parties are brainstorming the flow strategy in both Lok Sabha as well as Rajya Sabha. They said that they have uh, they have extended an invite to TMC also, but TMC is not keen to join uh, Congress or the, uh, the entire front which is there under the leadership of the Congress of the opposition parties. And uh, now what we are hearing from the sources is that uh, most likely it is the NCP chief Sharad Pawar who will be intervening and will try to bridge because even Sanjay Raut had said in the past that as far as the bridging the gap between TMC and Congress is concerned for that, uh, uh, Sharad Pawar is uh, enough to do so. So we are seeing a lot of action today in the day because there is a crucial meeting of the opposition which took place in Rajya Sabha, uh, leader of opposition uh, Malika Arjun Kharge's uh, room where all the senior leaders are present and they have brainstormed the strategy as to how to take on the winter sessions, uh, to take on government in the upcoming winter session. Okay, these are images that we're also seeing here of Rahul and Sonia Gandhi from just a few minutes ago uh, of them in Parliament as well. Remember that Congress MPs came together for a huddle at about 10.30 this morning before house, uh, the House resumed for business uh, and there was a discussion on what their strategy will be for the day in the winter session. It was made very clear uh, by the leadership that their single track focus is going to be on the Lakhimpur case. They're going to be pushing and piling pressure on the government to ensure there's a discussion on this matter. The leadership, most of the senior Congress MPs are all there today, Supriya, and that itself shows you exactly what the Congress's strategy today in the House is. Well, as far as uh, the opposition camp is concerned, Akshita, uh, there was a crucial meeting which took place last evening uh, at 10 Janpath, which was headed by uh, Sonia Gandhi and all the top floor leaders as well as uh, from the opposition minus uh, that of TMC were present there. They brainstormed as to how to take on the government on the issue of suspension of the 12 MPs from Rajya Sabha as well as that of the prize rise, China and even Lakhimpur Khiri. And following this is what we are seeing today in the morning that uh, a lot of uh, leaders uh, from across uh, parties in oppos uh, from the opposition camp have given their notices as far as Lakhimpur Khiri is concerned. So one issue in a day is what we are hearing. Uh, we are also seeing that, that uh, the opposition will be in a united way protesting outside uh, of the parliament also. Yesterday we saw the protest march and we are hearing that there might be some protests taking place in Jantar Mantar uh, also. So the, the strategy is that to show, uh, uh, show a united uh, uh, front and as far as TMC is concerned, they are saying that they are trying their level best to uh, rope in TMC but then as far as TMC is uh, concerned uh, there is a still a brickbat going on, a war of words going on between okay. Congress and the TMC. Yesterday it was Derek O'Brien who hit uh, at the Congress party and today it was Manikam Tagore and Adhiranjan Chaudhary who went that uh, went on record saying that...
All right. It's uh, still going on between TMC and Congress. But yes, one thing is for sure that there is hmm. uh, effort being put in uh, by the Congress uh, to bring everybody under their ambit so that a message goes loud and clear to TMC hmm. that as far as the principal opposition party right. is concerned, it is Congress only. And let's focus on that. Supriya, thank you for joining us with all the updates of what's really happening in Parliament.